Hey, what's up everybody? Alright, so here's the deal. Last night I was on the F8 photography show with my friend Ricky and Mike. And Mike came up with this ideal for a photo challenge. And since I gave them both Black Panther Pops, this is the subject of the challenge. <clears throat> so, today I've been trying to think how can I take this to a level that would be really cool, but yet different? Because <clears throat> I know Ricky's a phenomenal photographer, and Mike's a phenomenal photographer. And they're going to pull out all the stops. So I'm like, well, I mean, do we want to just like photograph him somewhere or whatever? And one of the things that came into mind today was how can I use the box? Yeah, the box. So, what I'm planning on trying, I've never done it before, <clears throat> but I want to see if I can make the box like the Black Panther is busting out of it. So, I sit there and made a little stencil, like a template, which I'm telling you right now, this isn't as easy as you think it would be. <laughs> I, yeah, it's just not. So what I'm gonna do is um, getting out the trusty little uh, knife here. We'll pop open this bad boy. First things first, we <clears throat> gotta take the pop out because you can't cut the box with the pop in it. Just sit him right there for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to cut this with the actual uh, plastic in it. Cause I'm, I'm thinking that might help with some uh, keep the box sort of rigid. I'm gonna take my handy little uh, post-it note stencil that I made. See if I can get that bad boy on there again where I sort of want it. <clears throat> now, I, I don't know. I was going to do this on a time lapse, but you know, I figured what the heck. Let's uh, let's sort of talk about let's sort of talk about some stuff while I'm doing this because this is definitely a weird process. I definitely do not know how this is going to work or even if it will work. Because I'm going to try to get I'm going to try to get it to where I can actually um, use my uh, my scissors. And the cool thing about these scissors <clears throat> is uh, when I uh, raced RC cars these are curved uh, body scissors for the plastic bodies that uh, for the RC cars, and the cool thing about them <clears throat> is that they uh, they were designed to cut wheel wells and and things like that. I'm starting to think that that uh, inside piece might get in my way, so I don't know. This is. This is trial and error right here at its best. So I'm just going to take, because the center section actually is what's going to be coming out. So that shouldn't be that big of a deal. So yeah, this is, uh, <clears throat> I think I am going to, I'm going to take that, that bottom, that, that section out. Because I'm actually, I'm actually hitting it. So, uh, yeah. Whoops. And this'll this'll be this'll just be a couple of uh you know this is this is gonna be something that I'll share um with more of you as a it'll probably be more than one clip is what I'm getting at. If I had to if I had to guess this'll be uh <laughs> this'll be definitely more than one clip. 
because it might take me a while to cut this bad boy out. And I'm hoping that uh, the plastic, <clears throat> I thought by doing a stencil, it might actually uh, help, but I'm starting to think not. But hey, we're already committed, so we're gonna keep on going and see what happens. There's one little piece that came out. How, how about that? <laughs> the things that we do to uh, photograph something. <laughs> This is actually a pretty cool challenge, though. Um, to be honest with you, this is this is a very interesting challenge that Mike came up with. I should have asked him last night if he preferred Mike or Michael. Everything on his social media is Michael, but <clears throat> oh, I, you know, Mike's a. I don't, I don't think he'll mind. So yeah, this is. Uh, this is fun. I'm destroying a pop box for a photo. How cool is that? I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. And I really needed this. I had one of those days at work that would just stress me out. I was on meetings all day long and yeah, I was just, it was just one of those days. So. It's actually pretty cool to come up here and actually do something like this just to sort of take my mind off of it. So I'll tell you what, instead of me boring you guys by cutting all this stuff out, here in a minute I'll uh, do, a little, do a little break away and uh, come back and we'll uh, get a little bit more hopefully done but I want to get I want to get at least I want to get at least half of it cut out before we uh, so I can just sort of show you what I'm doing I just hope this actually looks like a busting out, like busting out because like I said I've never <laughs> I've never created this and the crazy thing about it I was on uh, Google today and I was trying to find references to you know busted out box and uh, yeah there's nothing there's nothing on Google so I was like okay well <clears throat> I'm on my own I'm going to take this big section out right here. And the age-old question, do you cut on the lines or inside the lines? I'm actually doing both. <laughs> I'm actually cutting some of them in and some of them out, some of them on. Yeah, this is funny. And, and this is part of, I think, uh, I didn't get clarification on it last night, but I think this is actually part of the challenge is you film yourself setting up the, the challenge. So, so I'll tell you what, there we are. I'm, I'm about halfway through and uh, I'm gonna finish this up. And when I come back, we'll have a hole and We'll go from there, so see you here in a minute. Hey everybody, we're back. All right, so, boom. Last piece. All right, let's take the, my impromptu template off. Hey, that's not too terribly Bad to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's not too bad. I'm I'm digging it. Got a little bit of a a cleanup work here to do. So that's going to fold back. That's going to fold back. Oh, I see. I see. I see where I'm. I'm 
trying to trying to see my uh, just tweaking the lines a little bit more, make them a little bit more prevalent for the uh, for the bends. So, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. I'll probably trim this thing up too because I don't need the top piece um, to be honest with you because it, it'll get it might be getting in the way. So, but I, I want to go ahead and get it rigid again. Um, so now I just want to, and I might need to get a hair dryer or I don't know the the cardboard sides might actually. Uh, work pretty good but I want to try to do is I might have to heat this thing up or just play with it because I want to try to get this thing um, where these sort of bend out a little bit so and I think honestly a a, a hair dryer would probably work really good because what I want to do is like fold these sort of like it's he's busting out but I tell you what let me let me let's uh, tell you what let me trim this down I'm thinking yeah let's trim let's trim this down My wife's working second shift this week, so uh, <laughs> I can go downstairs and get her hair dryer. And uh, maybe not get in trouble. All right. So. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think I'll definitely uh, need to heat this thing up a little bit. But I, I don't know; I might be able to to work it enough. But just to sort of give you the gist of what I'm looking at is, I'm thinking something along the lines of of not him falling out. Him just sort of busting out of the box. He's got that little pop thing right there, which I might be able to use these as sort of supports to actually sort of wedge him in there. So that might actually work out in my favor that these aren't bent out. Because I can sort of bend them out and let them uh, sort of rest on him. I'm gonna see if I can get him to, to sort of stand. Yeah. So something like that is what I'm looking at. But I still need to do some bending and tweaking. Um, dude, I'm I'm digging this. All right. So that's gonna do it for for the first part of this. Um, Cause I need to think a little bit. I want to. I want to visualize it a little bit more. I want to. I just want to. I want to make sure that I'm I'm on the right track. I think I am, but I think this would be cool. Uh, I want to take my other pops and build like a backdrop of pops, and then when I take this photo, uh, parts of me is is thinking about how cool it would be to have some kind of a, a light in here. You know, some kind of a small LED. Um, or a diode or something, but I think I'm on the right path. I think I'm, I think I'm getting there. Uh, so yeah. So all right. So we've got it cut out. We've got everything sort of mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna think on it, and when we come back, we'll continue on. I'm not sure if it'll be tonight. Might be tomorrow, but I'm I'm sort of taking my time with this one. So, but anyway. Thanks for uh, watching this part of it. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. All right, what's up? We're back. 
about my little panther right there. <clears throat> and once I start this, I know you guys don't want to hear a hair dryer going, so I might find some really cool music to, uh, I don't know, but hey, I might leave the, I might leave the dryer on. I don't know. So let's see how loud this thing is. Hey, what's up everybody? <clears throat> All right. Here we go. So today we're actually going to be doing some uh, actual modifications to my project. Um, again, <clears throat> I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. So the first thing we need to do, or I'm going to do, is a little, uh, little hot glue here. On the old black panther. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get him to stick. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that the uh, the hot glue will do the trick because he has to. <clears throat> no, honestly, he has to. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to pull this off. The the head has to be kicked back, <clears throat> but the spring might be a little too tight. I don't know. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so this part of the process is actually taking longer than I anticipated. But with any kind of mod or any kind of build, you do, you know, you run into things. But as you can see, I've got the angle that I'm looking for. Now, I've had to do a lot of build up on the back of him to get him to be the way he is and I thought hot glue would be the choice to be honest with you you could I think super glue would have worked even better uh, Gorilla glue glue or even two-sided adhesive tape might have actually worked so that was a uh, that was a miscalculation on my part or Hey, trial and error. But as you can see, I'm getting the effect. Well, you probably can't see with my fingers in the way. So what I'm gonna try to do tonight, um, I gotta figure out, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to support him while this glue actually dries. I haven't quite worked out those details yet. You know, it might be something as simple as that. I don't know. But, let's go ahead and uh, throw some, uh, some hot glue on his feet. And see what happens. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is definitely a, an interesting but a fun little project here. Um, I'm really anxious to see how it photographs. All right. So in theory, I think, I think I have him in place. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to let this dry all night. I'm not even going to mess with it no more. Um, yeah, I think that would probably be the best best approach right now. Um, also, I picked up another pop, a couple more pops today. Barnes & Noble, $2.49 a piece. 
Duh. I picked up the Killmonger. And I'm thinking I might incorporate the Killmon Killmonger in out of box as well. So, I don't know yet. But anyway, so that's it for tonight. Um, I, I hope I'm not boring everybody with this, but uh, I just want to take you through my process of creating this challenge that I've been tasked to do through the uh, uh, photography show, the F2.8 uh, F8, F2.8 photography show. Uh, we were challenged to do a photo with the Black Panther. I'm choosing to do something like this, which involves destruction. Uh, instead of just taking a pop out and putting him out somewhere, I just sort of wanted to be a little bit more creative. And I wanted to, to actually record the process so everybody could see it. Uh, but anyway, we'll uh, pick this up again tomorrow night. Hopefully everything will be dried enough to where I can handle it. We might go ahead and set up and go from there. So, but anyway, th thanks for uh, hanging out with me tonight and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, what's up everybody? All right, so I've got everything set up. I've been doing some test shots, trying to figure out how this is gonna work. I've got the old uh, Black Panther pop coming out of this box. This has been a really a challenge to shoot. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna uh, turn the lights off and uh, here in just a minute. Take a few uh, a few shots and go from there. Yeah, this is this is definitely been a challenge. So let's get the lights off. Yeah, the the problem I've been having is getting the the purple in the box to show. So. Hopefully that didn't blind you guys. All right. Whoa. All right, so that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for this video. Uh, hopefully I can get the photo that I'm looking for and get that post process and put it at the end of the video so fingers crossed hopefully I can get it